Hello and welcome to ATP Report. I'm Barry Nussbaum. Wow, do we have a special show for you. We're going to do a deep dive into Kamala Harris, the new vice presidential nominee, and quite possibly someday your next president. Lots of important stuff. You ready? Let's do it. Did you know that Kamala Harris might have killed an investigation into a massive child sex abuse scandal in exchange for major campaign donor money? Tucker Carlson reported that when Harris took office in 2004, her predecessor, Democrat Terrence Hollinan, left her with hundreds of pages of internal Catholic Church documents that included the names of 40 accused Catholic clergy. Quote, Hallinan was using these documents to build criminal cases, and he was also planning to release them after redacting the names of the victims. Unquote. Continuing, Kamala Harris actually deep six those documents, and those documents have now disappeared, much to the chagrin of the victims and their groups they are associated with. So it's a massive cover up. And a lot of the people that financed her campaign to beat Hallinan were law firms and lawyers and people connected to the church in California. In other words, the hierarchy who did not want these documents to come out. And that's where her politics were financed from. Did you know that Tara Reid who has come forward with credible allegations of sexual assault against Joe Biden, is asking Kamala Harris to publicly challenge Joe to tell the world what happened. In an exclusive interview with Newsbusters, Reed, now she's the woman who accused Joe Biden of sexually assaulting her uh, some years ago in 1993, I believe in the Capitol basement, spoke out about the selection of Kamala Harris as his vice presidential running mate. Harris has previously said that Reid should be heard and that she believes other Biden accusers. Reid says, quote, journalists should be asking Kamala pointedly why there was a smear campaign on me and why Kamala was so aggressive and assertive when then Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh was up for confirmation. And yet she knows there's a credible sexual assault accusation against Senator Biden. She's right. Double standard, isn't it? Did you know that Kamala Harris's chief of staff is one of the progressives that thinks Israel sucks? She's one of those I don't like Israel bashers, and she's chief of staff for the Democratic nominee for Vice President Kamala Harris. This lady applauded the 2020 presidential candidates who chose to skip the 2019 APEC policy conference, you know, the one that promotes security cooperation between the United States and Israel. Her name is Karine. Jean-Pierre, and at that time, she was national spokesperson and senior advisor for the left-wing group Move On, George Soros's group. She told Newsweek that Democrat candidates, particularly those who call themselves progressive, she says, made the right call because Apex policies and values are not progressive. She says, you cannot call yourself a progressive while continuing to associate yourself with an organization like APAC. She says, APAC is the antithesis of what it means to be progressive. And then she wrote, Israel may have committed war crimes in its attacks on Gazan protesters. It's a lie, it's vicious, it's anti-Semitic, it's anti-Israel, and that lady is the vice presidential nominee's chief of staff. Did you know that to kick off the campaign with Joe Biden, Harris lied that America is the worst country in the world regarding its COVID-19 response? She says, 
just a couple of days ago, quote, there's a reason it has hit America worse than any other advanced nation. It's because of President Donald Trump's failure to take it seriously from the start, unquote. But here are the facts. The United Kingdom, Belgium, Spain, Italy, and Sweden have a much higher death rate per 100,000 residents. And this data is maintained by John Hopkins University, certainly not a Republican institution. The United States has done more testing than any other developed country in the world, which has increased the case numbers. We're detecting much more infections because we're testing much more. But America also leads the world in total recoveries. And according to John Hopkins, the confirmed case fatality rate in the United Kingdom at 14.9% of infections is much, much, much higher than the United States at 3.2%. And the case death rate only takes into account confirmed infections and excludes people with mild or no symptoms that do not require medical attention. So Kamala lied. Did you know that Kamala still her existing position even today is that she says she believes women who have accused Joe Biden of sexual misconduct. Now, last April, before presumptive Democrat nominee Joe Biden even entered the race for president, Senator Kamala Harris, then the senator from California and was a contender for president, told supporters at a campaign event that she believed the women who had come forward with allegations of inappropriate touching against the former vice president. Evidently, her concerns about Biden's previous misconduct and bad behavior have either changed or not pers persuasive enough to dissuade her from a chance at becoming the next vice president of the United States. She had said at the time, quote, I believe them and I respect them being able to tell their story and having the courage to do it. Now, what I want to know is, how does she reconcile this with dozens of women and children who Biden seems to have been touching inappropriately for, I don't know, decades? And Harris goes silent. I'm not surprised, are you? Thanks for joining us today on ATP Report. Remember, you can subscribe to our free text message service so you get this and all of our shows on your cell phone for free. Simply text the word TRUTH, T-R-U-T-H, and send it to 88202. Push send. You'll be automatically subscribed. All of our shows like this one will come to your cell phone absolutely free. And you don't have to do a thing but look down into the palm of your hand. For ATP Report, I'm Barry Nussbaum.